Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen's World. And in today's video, we will be going over the top five things to do when you are in Paris. Of course, when you're visiting Paris, there are lots of things that you have to do, like visiting the Eiffel Tower, visiting the Notre Dame, wearing a beret around town. <laughs> So in this video today, I'm going to be going over my personal top five things to do when you're visiting Paris. So if you're nosy and you want to find out what my top five things were to do when I was in Paris and that you should do too, then make sure you just keep on watching. Number one, take a wine class. Whether you're a wine snob or a wine noob, take a wine class to experience, learn, and taste France's national pride. I booked my wine and cheese tasting at Secret Wine Door through Airbnb experiences for 45 euros or $50, and it was one of the highlights of my trip. And I know what some of you may be thinking, gosh, wine tasting in France might be so intimidating or even pretentious, but let me tell you, the owner Erwan, a certified wine expert, led us through the experience in the most unpretentious, non-judgmental way. Each experience is two hours long and maxes out at 10 people, so you really get an informative and intimate experience. He understands that not everyone in the class is a wine expert and creates an environment where everyone feels comfortable to ask any and all questions. I learned about and drank wines from all regions of France and tried the most delicious cheeses I ever had. You will leave feeling more confident about wine and actually know why people swirl their wine glasses. And to top it off, you get a good buzz for the rest of the day. Number two, go shopping. If you're like me, when I'm planning a trip to France or a trip to Europe, I'm also planning what's on my shopping list because I know that I wanna take advantage of the VAT refund that's available for international travelers like me and you. If you watched my Paris vlog or my Chanel unboxing, then you already know what I brought back home with me during my last trip to France. What I didn't tell you guys though was like the stress leading up to the departure date, making sure that I had all the right documents, the receipts, and I was even studying the map of Charles de Gaulle Airport to make sure I, I knew where that VAT refund counter was. So that's why I'm so excited to share with you guys a new way to get your tax refund and that's by using the WeVAT app. I wanna thank WeVAT for sponsoring today's video. So this app is a hassle-free and efficient way to get your VAT refund. Everything you need is in the app and you can even load all your personal information along with your password so that way you don't even need to carry your passport around when you're going shopping. And here's how it works. Step one, make sure you download and sign up for the app before you start shopping. You'll also want to make sure you're eligible to claim VAT refunds and depart from a WeVAT supported exit point. Step two, after you go shopping, make sure you ask for the invoice to be addressed to WeVAT. And in French, they call it a facteur, and that will help with this process. Don't worry, on the app, it has all the information that you'll need on how to properly address the invoice, and there's even examples of what incorrect and correct invoices look like for you to reference. Step three, upload the invoices into your app after you're done shopping. Make sure the invoices are correctly addressed to WeVAT and snap a photo of each one to upload. And while you're waiting for your invoices to upload, take this time to verify your identity by snapping a selfie and uploading a photo of your passport. Step four, generate a digital refund form. It's actually a barcode in the app which combines all of your shopping together so you only have one barcode that you need to scan. Step five, scan the barcode at the airport. And for you to reference, this is what a tax refund kiosk looks like. And that's it, and within seven days, you'll get your refund that you'll be able to track as well. So my favorite part about this app is that you actually get more money back. Using the app, you get almost 13.4% back versus the 8 to 12% using the traditional method. Not only that, you're able to track your refund and receive it within seven days. I don't know about you, but when I'm, you know, trying to get my VAT refund, I literally drop the forms in the mailbox and cross my fingers and hope that it doesn't get lost in the mail. In addition, there's no transaction limit. You just need to spend 100 euros per trip, not even per store. So you can get your VAT refund on any purchase as long as the invoice is addressed to WeVAT. Some of the top stores to use WeVAT at would be Le Bon Marché, Galleries Lafayette, Hermes, and Gucci. And there are a couple stores at the moment where you won't be able to use WeVAT, and that's at stores like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and sometimes Dior. But that's totally okay, because in these situations, you can still use a traditional VAT refund method. And it really doesn't hurt to ask to see if the invoice can be addressed 
just to WeBat. If you want more information about getting your VAT refund and using the WeBat app, then I'll make sure to link everything down in the description box below. Even if you don't plan on doing any shopping, visiting these iconic boutiques and department stores is an experience in itself. I know it can be intimidating. I know sometimes it's a little scary to go into these fancy stores, but trust me, they're used to seeing tourists like us. So if you're in Paris, make sure you check them out. Number three, visit Disneyland Paris. If you're a Disney fan, then you have to visit Disneyland Paris. While this isn't my favorite Disneyland park in the world, I still love it for the fact that it's a Disneyland park in Paris. Just less than an hour from the city center and accessible by train, this can easily be a day trip or a two day trip if you have more time. Disneyland Paris has two parks, Disneyland Park and Walt Disney Studio Park. And while both parks have similarities to the parks in the US, go to experience the unique Parisian touches that you will not be able to find in any other location. Bonus, Disneyland Paris is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year, which means more special events, decor, and limited edition merch. Also, tickets are cheaper than the parks in the US. They're about $69 to $110 depending on the day. And I don't think Disneyland in the US has had those prices since its opening day in 1955. While you're there, you can also use the WeVat app for tax-free shopping for any of your souvenirs and Disneyland merch. Number four, outdoor dining. There's something so charming about dining at a restaurant or cafe in Paris. Prior to COVID, outdoor dining was something I never did, but it's the way of life in Paris. The city is full of restaurants and cafes with outdoor tables for you to sit and people watch while you drink your cafe au lait or enjoy your steak frites. No matter what food you like, you will find so many diverse options around the city. When I stayed in the 9th arrondissement, we were within walking distance to the Strasbourg Saint Denis neighborhood, which offered so many Middle Eastern options along with traditional French cuisine. Obviously, you'll be eating while you're in Paris, so try to dine outdoors as much as possible. Number five, have a picnic. Last but not least, and the most budget-friendly thing I like to do is have a picnic. Paris is filled with so many beautiful parks and areas to have a picnic. Grab a blanket, bed sheets, grab some wine from the market, some sandwiches, and watch the sunset along the Seine or in front of the Eiffel Tower. Take advantage of the fact that public drinking is allowed in France. My family and I had a picnic in Versailles and Champ de Mar. Well, technically you can't drink at this park, but it's tolerated as long as you're not a drunken fool. It's one of those things that I never do in my real life, but something about being on vacation and being in Paris really makes this one of my favorite things to do. And I would just say it's say magnifique. All right, guys, so that's it. Those were my top five things to do when you're in Paris. what do you think? Have you guys done any of these before? Is there anything that else that you guys would add? Anyone planning a trip soon or shopping trip? What are they gonna use their WeVat app on? Let me know down in the comments below and if you have any questions about Paris or the WeVat app. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Au revoir!